guys, Dorothy here with Done by Dorothy, and we are here today, um, we're working on our Mirabelle and Nature journal. Again, um, like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the series, um, you know, share with your friends, spread the love, um, all of our links will be down below. I will straight up tell you, um, I've been, with my kids and my husband both, have all been battling this chest head virus thing going around. And I did get a little bit in my chest um, the last couple days. So I've, you know, sort of been trying to take it off and take it easy. Yesterday was really bad. Um, I'm better today. But there is a chance that my throat will start getting sort of agitated. I've got water here. So if it starts getting agitated, I may have to, like, sort of, you know, either put music to me falling out at the end or, you know, sort of stop the video and continue on in another video. <coughs> so... Let's get going. So we're going to start with our signature. And today we're going to be putting a pockets, um, a belly band, and um, just some different things. I'm going to work through one signature and then, um, you know, I'll sort of repeat the same actions through the other two signatures. So I'll show you the one today. You'll see, the, like, as I go through the one, and then I'll add the other ones, and then I'll do. I may do those um, off camera just to sort of save filming time on my voice. Um, but I will do them the same as I do this first one. So I want to start out, and I know that I want a really nice pocket on the inside. Now, the other day, if you remember, I had all my pages for my pocket. I did go through and I do, you know, different things. Um, I've got, you know, some belly bands, but I did um, some different types of sewing. So like on my postcards that I had, I did a straight stitch around the outside edge. Um, the little ATC cards, I did a straight stitch. And then on a lot of my pockets, I did this really pretty, let me see if I can hold it up, this really pretty leaf pattern that my sewing machine has. I know some sewing machines doesn't have that. Um, you know, and if you don't have that, you know, you can use a straight stitch around all of it, or you can use your zigzag. I just wanted to do the leaves because it's sort of nature-y. So, I'm sorry, I have to get a drink of water already. Okay, so um, I know I want to do a nice pocket. Let me see. I actually think I like this one up here. There's my little frog. So I'm just going to center this. Again, I've already got it sewed, so it's going to look really nice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I will try to get through this, guys. I'm. Oh, my. I gotta refill my art glitter glue. It's getting to the bottom and it just doesn't want to work right when it starts getting empty. There we go. And I'm just gonna put it really nice. I like to sort of just do, you know, a nice dab around the end because I want to make sure it's gonna hold because you're gonna be, you know, pushing stuff in and out. Okay. And then I'm just gonna center it up and I can see where my fold is so I can center it up because then they're nice and even and hopefully straight okay so there's a pretty pocket in the front which I really really like that and we can do <clears throat> we'll come back through and do our you know um We'll insert our ATC cards, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do those yet because I'm going to come back and we're going to work on ephemera um, that we're going to use. So then we have this page stenciled, so that doesn't get anything. Again, this page is stenciled, stenciled. Oh, and there's a page. Let's put a belly band in there. I think I want to use this really pretty um, sort of, oh... I don't know if it's a Star of David, Lily of the Valley type. So I'm just going to put it on the each edge to hold in there. 
And again, you can put this wherever you want on the page. I'm just going to center mine up. Make sure I have it in there straight or as straight as it can be. Or as straight as I can get it because I have to hold it up a little bit to see. Yeah, I like that. I think that's really pretty. I think it has just enough on there that adds a little, a little color. And then we'll come back to that. So we've got our belly band in. Now, if you wanted to make a belly band and you wanted to have more room in there to do like multiple things, um, let me, I'm just going to grab a random piece of paper here. Okay, say I wanted this to be my belly band and I wanted to add extra things. What I would do is I would take my score tool or you can fold it or score it however you want to do. I would score, oh, I would say either a quarter or a half an inch on each end, depending on, you know, what your play is. Um, with the five by sevens that we printed out where you got two journal pages, if you wanted to like cut that into, you know, belly bands or whatever, um, there is enough white on each side to make belly bands out of that if you choose. Just like the pockets, um, and I'll show you a sample of a pocket in a minute, what you can do. But so you can just fold the ends like that. And obviously this is going to make this a little short because I didn't make, and then you would glue it down like that. You would put your glue right here. So when you put your glue like this, that opens that up. That gives you more space because the front of your belly band can expand where here it doesn't expand as much. So, and the same thing with, um, with the pocket, let me use this. So say if I was going to use this as my pocket and I wanted to make a pocket out of it, then I would score here. I would score here, right? I would score it right here, you know, and again, you could do quarter inch or half inch, whatever, you know, your heart's desire is. And then I would open it up. See how you have this corner down here where there's like a folded square? All you want to come back in with your scissors then and cut it on the diagonal that way. And then switch this one. Cut on a diagonal. And this is going to be hidden, so it doesn't matter if it's exact. And a diagonal. And then you want to diagonal your top so they don't show. Then... When you fold your tabs up, it's going to look like this. Then you just glue and put it down. And if it's glued down, you've got that pocket to stick things in. So you can turn any image, like any of these images, you can add to have that extra expansion of a pocket. So you do have that alternative. Okay, so there's this. It's stenciling. Okay, here's another page. Um... I think I'm going to use one of the small pockets and then I will come back and decorate it when we do the ephemera because then we'll do all our, you know, decorations on all our pages and all that. So I'm just going to go around the outside edge again. And again, I'm sorry for the sniffles. Please forgive me. I'm actually sort of late trying to do this video today because I've been trying to get myself to feeling better to do it. And it just wasn't happening, so I decided to go ahead and try. So we, I do want a lot of pockets because anywhere we have a pocket is where we can, you know, you know, we can stick our little pages like this. Um, you can stick your ATC cards. You know, you can stick your postcards. Any kind of little booklets we make, any of our ephemera we can put in there. So I want a lot of little pockets because, you know, with these big main pages, we don't have a lot of journaling. So I want to be able to create a lot of extra journaling spots. Okay, there's our envelope, so we'll leave that alone. That is stenciled. We'll leave that up. Pocket over here. Let's see, what kind of pocket do we want? Um... Okay, let's do a double pocket. So we're going to do a double pocket. So I have this. So before I glue it in, I want to put a small one 
in front so I create two pockets a small pocket and a big one so I'm going to glue this around the edges and again this is really basic I mean it's pockets and flips and tucks so and we will add some others as we go through on some of the stencil pages we may do like some corner flips um, like the Rita Donnelly corner flips but when it comes to pockets you know you pretty much are creating a pocket so it's just and depending on how much room now if I didn't want a lot of room I would do a lot of side pockets where you could just slide a tag in and that's it um, we will be doing some tags and that sort of stuff with ephemera so stay tuned for the ephemera part and this is gonna be so gorgeous to make ephemera with because this kit I just love this kit but yeah, so this is this is sort of one of those boring stages you have to go through, you know, to get there. But it's all part of it. And then once it's there, it looks, you know, and you get your stuff stuffed in it, it looks great. Okay. So there's that. Flip stenciled another one. I'm going to do a full, a half page pocket, a little bit more than a half page, and hopefully you guys can hear me, like I said, my voice is coming and going, so I'm trying to speak up louder when I notice it's fading. And again, like I said, I'm going to do this one on camera, and then the other ones I will do off camera just because that'll save me trying to talk through it all and the steps are going to be the same for this one just like the other two so it's literally going to be repeating steps and if you find it doesn't want to really you can't sometimes taking it out and laying it flat really helps make sure I got a lot of glue in there okie dokie and we've got that there's a little snail. Okay. So let's do another diagonal pocket. Um you know what? Let's do this one this way. It will sort of be, you know. Tilt, no, I don't want to tilt it on the diagonal, I don't think. Um, we'll do it this way. This on this way. So, I mean, you can do them different directions. And by doing this, I'll sort of create this open area up here to journal in. Which I want to make sure I have lots of journaling room. Okay, turn, we have another page over here. Okay, let's see what I have left here. Okay, I will put this back here. And then we'll go back to the other page because I sort of have something a little bit different there. And again, these pages I will show you in just a second. Are extremely simple like even the diagonal pockets that I made are super easy and that sewing adds just enough darkness around the edges to make it really pop okay so say like this pocket here what I do is say this was my Full page that I had right okay say this is our full page but a mini size all I did was take my straight roller decide where you know how deep I wanted my pocket to be so say maybe I want my pocket here then 
you can go all the way up to the top if you want. And that's going to create a pocket like that. Or like in this case, I sort of brought it down some. So I brought it over to like right here. So it wasn't as steep of a pocket. And then to get that flat part across there, all I did was after I did it, I took my ruler and held it across. Let me see if I can. And then just sort of tore that top corner off right there. And that sort of creates that little flat part on the top. That's all there is. So, you know, it, there it's a whole lot easier than what you think it is. So we got that in. So let's go back to this. I'm going to pull this page out because I have quite a bit to do on it. Okay. So I took my page. This is one of the full size pages. Let me lead it up here. This is one of the full size pages. I need to glue that down because it's come loose. I may have to. Sometimes I think I. Okay. So this was a full size page, right? No, well, I cut a little bit off the bottom. Um, or maybe off the top because there was so much empty space. So, because I wanted it to be a little bit shorter. So this was a full size page. I just took the page, held it. Okay, so let me turn it this way as if it was a full size page. If this is my full size page, right? Okay. I just took it, laid my roller. I just guesstimated where I wanted it to be and ripped the top and pulled that apart. And then, so I basically did it like in half. Then I took up here and I did the bottom part a little bit larger. I roll her down, ripped it, and I got that. So I get, that gave me three pieces. So what I'm going to do now is line up where I'm at and I'm going to use my my pencil okay so I find it where this line is I'm gonna drop it down just a tad bit just a bit not a lot just maybe an eighth of an inch drop down draw my line draw my line and remembering to use my bottom lines when I come back through I'm gonna drop that about about an eighth of an inch okay so I'm gonna use the bottom lines so I'm gonna go ahead and erase those top lines so they're out of the way so I don't get confused and mixed up so I have them there. So I'm going to oh, grab my smallest one and making sure I have it the right direction. I'm going to glue it up. My glue on my side. And I'm going to square it up about where I want it so it's centered. I'm going to line it up with my line, straight as I can get, and then I'm going to glue it down. That creates a pocket, right? Okay, so we have that. Okay, so I'm going to grab my second one, I'm going to glue around my edges. Make sure I put a nice amount of glue around it. Okay, remember I'm going to line up the bottom. So I'm going to line it up and then I'm just going to line my edges up. Just a wee bit off. There we go. And then glue it in. And I tore mine across and then tore the sides so you sort of have like a different jagged edge because I wanted to really show off the fact that it was different pockets if that makes sense. Um, and then I'm going to, I didn't want it to look like it was one full page, I wanted it to really show and you can tell my bobbin got gooby there so I need to make sure I put a little bit of extra glue there because every once in a while you will have give you little edges like that make sure I don't have glue on the front like that okay so I'm gonna put this down again at the bottom and I'm gonna line up my sides make sure I line it at the bottom and line my sides up okay
Then I'm gonna glue, make sure I get my glue pressed down really well. And because this is multiple layers, I'm gonna make sure that I, you know, and if you don't want that little bitty edge there, you can take your scissors after you put down. Let's see if I can, and sort of push. And it will sort of, you can sort of push that in a little bit to straighten it up a little bit if you don't like, you know, the jaggedness without pushing through your page, obviously. So, I mean, I like that the way that it is. So it sort of has this continued page, but it's got the separate pockets. So let's see what we're going to do here with some of this. Um, you know what, let me go ahead and ink this page up because I haven't inked it up yet. Oops. Oopsie daisy. And then if I'll see what time we're working on. Oh, we're at 20 minutes. So we got plenty of time. Um, and you know, I want you guys in the comment below, if you don't care, what time. Now I'm on Eastern time. So please go by Eastern time so I don't have to like double check to see what your time zone time is compared to mine. Um, so like my premiere is at 7 o'clock. So this one came on at seven o'clock. So depending on what time it is where you're at, put your time zone, like what time it is at your time zone, seven o'clock is, what would be a good time or is there a better time, you know, for the videos be to, re to be released for you? I mean, I realize I can't situate everybody. And, um, oh, I just forgot what I was gonna say. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue over here, guys, because. It didn't seem like it's sticking real well over there. Um, and about how long of a video, you know, do you like? I mean, I know sometimes, you, you know, they can get a little longer. I've had some that were like an hour and some that were 20 minutes, some that were 40. Sort of depends on what I'm doing. Um, you know, but what about, about what time frame works well for you? I'm going to think of the back of this too because I always want all the edges looking good. And hi to my mom. My mom watched. Okay, so we have this. I'm actually going to fold this like in thirds. No, it's not quite thirds. Two and a half. How's that? I'm going to fold this in two and, a, two and a half. That's really good, isn't it? Let's see. I'm going to put that there. No. Let's see how. Oh yeah, see that's perfect right there. Now see, I wouldn't, I could put one of my postcards down in there, which, you know, sort of gives it bigger, but I think if I'm gonna do that, I wanna find one that is a little darker or has, you know, a little more something, something going on. Hmm, this may be it. Okay. So we can do that there. Of course, we have the little bitty, little bitty up here. So we're gonna do something different for there. Um, we actually could use something like this and do it on the side. Okay. I've got this pocket right here, which is one of the few that I didn't put the coffee and tea dyed same paper on the back of it because I wanted to show you that you stencil so let me do this and then I'll show you I always anchor on the edges just to the side you pull my stencil out oops okay and I can use anything any part of the stencil that I want let me brush up and I'm just gonna ink along here Now, if you don't want any white at all to show through, you can ink it and just sort of go over it a little bit. It's going to add just a little bit of a hazy background, but because you've already got that first layer on there, it's not really going to show through. It's going to darken up over top of that area too, so you're not going to have to deal with So there you go. 
Now let me pull this back over here. I'm going to put this in the little second pocket here. So like this pocket alone, we've got the back of that card, the back of that card to journal on, the back of that postcard to journal on, and our little trifoldy. So that part sticks out because I love that little flower right there. So that's that. Okay. So let's pull this back over. Um, okay. So I have this pocket back here. I am not putting anything in here because I have something specific that we're going to make to put in there. Okay. We have this here, which we could do. I think I'm going to put this in there. I made, this is what I did. I took a full page. I ripped it with just a straight ruler. So it didn't really create a torn edge, but just a jaggedy edge because it wasn't perfect. I inked it up really good, folded it in half, inked it. Did the same thing with a piece of coffee tea dyed paper and glued it down, folded it, inked it up, and then sewed. Well, I sewed on this side. I kept if you I kept the pretty side, the pretty side of my sewing. Like you can see the sewing on here, how it looks, and then how it looks on the back. So, I sewed it around. Everything was already inked, and then I come back over with my ink and ink and ink all around my sewing. So I have it like that. So I'm going to slide it in here and it'll go right up to the edge of my paper. So set that cute little insert in there plus all the journaling to do up there. And of course we have all these little pockets we haven't come to yet. We have a full size pocket here. We're making something for there. Um, we have our little pockets here. I did want this one here because I love the little bugs and I thought it went really well with the black. And then I'm going to put this one here because I love the way that that paint carries with that. Just the burgundy and the pink in there just look really good. I almost don't even like having to cover it up with that thing in the bottom. There we go. And then we'll make another little thing to put in there. We have our envelope with our thing that's going to go in there. This is getting decorated on the front. And we have my postcard in here. We have another thing we're going to put in there. Okay. See, we have something we're putting in there. We have this up here. We're going to put this postcard in there. Because I wanted it with all the pictures down here. I thought that that would... So, that's inside there. So, inside this little thing, I can put a little card. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to put something to go in there. Like that in there. And we'll make something else to go on there too. And where's the other side? The other side. I thought about putting this in there because the little picture would show through. This is really cute. There's just a little added bonus in there when you reach in there and grab it. So put that in there. Okay. So that is it for today, um, for this part, and like I said, we will make it for the others. Again, after adding the pockets, we don't have the ephemera in, you know, we're starting to get some bulk on our signatures with all that extra added space. Um, we do have our book plate for the front to glue in, so we make sure we don't lose it. I will tell you one thing that I did, I used vintage typing paper. And it's onion skin typing paper. Um, you can buy it on Amazon. It is a little pricey. If you can find it like a Goodwills and Thrifts is ideally. Or like your mom, your grandma, your great aunt, your aunts. You know, that used to type. If you know anybody that used to type, they may have some. Um, estate sales are really good. And I print. I did the full size pages. Um, and just printed them out onto that. And I don't know if you can see that. Or you can see. They're just gorgeous. So we're going to use that on some of our ephemera for tomorrow. So I will, and I'll show you like, let me find, let me find one. 
these were a little bitty. Let me cut one out really fast and I need my scissors. Let me cut one out really fast and show you. And cut it out. And you can ink up around the outside edges and it does take ink. Which is nice because you can really go in there and sort of age it at different spots. I don't just follow the edges. I sort of crinkle it a little bit and sort of ink up around on it. But let me, um, let me pull our page over here. Like the one where we had the pocket that was just the calligraphy on the bottom. So like, say you literally could just put, I mean... If I trim the top, let me use one of the smaller ones that I use because I have some smaller ones that are cutoffs, and that way you can see better because these are just little bitty shrimpy cutoffs. Um, it does every once in a while you have to fight with it to get to the printer. Okay. So, you know, I could literally just put that on there, and that looks good. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me push that up so you can see it. Um, you know, so there's a lot of different things that I can put through there. You have some a little scrap of music here. Let's make it up really fast. You know, throw a little scrap of music over here. That on top of it. I mean, it doesn't take a lot. You know, so I mean, there's a ton of different things that we can do. I have this little dark coffee dyed piece. Put some music right there. Layer that on top. And you know, that just adds a really nice little collaged thing. Let's see. I'm just pulling scrappy junk. I got little pieces of all the torn off things that we've done on the side. Maybe this was a little straight edge where we pulled off of the lined paper. So let me put that right there. Let's just take this down to where it's rounded around the flower. Because that'll take away some of that squareness of everything being so straight. I know, I just keep reading this one little piece of paper up, don't I? Okay. So, you know, we could put that right there. See, I'd have to tear this bottom because I don't like it straight over there. There we go. Yeah, I got a little piece of green over here. A little green corner under here in the middle of the brown. There you go. Take it down. We'll go ahead and glue it down. Let me cut the edges of my green here. So yeah, you know, literally, and that's, this is literally, I mean, you guys have watched me. You're reading, this is all the little scrappy parts. So let's start with our music. I'm sorry if you can hear coughing in the background, my... A little one that's not so little is coughing. And your little ones are 14. It's hard to say they're little anymore, isn't it? <laughs> um, let me ink around this just to sort of create some darkness to those layers. Especially with the background being as light as it is.
And I'm going to put that on there sort of straight like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and put our little greeny piece down. And let's put this where this sort of hangs through the middle right there. Perfect. Let's see. Is there a little piece of the notebook paper? Let me make sure I get the ink side. I'm going to ink the other side. Hopefully you guys can hear me really good. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to slap that down on there right across the top. Just sort of take away some of that, but to leave a little bit because I don't want it to overpower. Then this is see-through, or see-through. The art glitter glue dries clear. So that makes it nice when we adhere it on there. So I'm just going to put this sort of smack dab in the middle covering where they all join. That sort of shows through under the neath, underneath, which I really like. There's that, if you guys can see. So, I mean, literally, you know, collaging is not putting a lot of thought into it. It's more just randomly putting on there. So, yeah, so I will be doing more with these tomorrow. I mean, we're going to pull out the Mod Podge. Let me, what, no, we're at 36 minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. My throat's still a little groggy. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down for tonight um thank you guys for joining you know i hope you enjoyed doing that i know we only did the one um what i may do i was gonna go ahead and decorate the other two tonight and have them done and just show you but i think i will actually split up tomorrow and we'll do some different things in the next one and i'll show you step by step how i made some of the ones in here so you can actually see you know what I did? I was, some of it's repetitive for a lot of people, and I d don't want to be completely repetitive, but yeah, so it is getting starting to become chunky. So we got this one done. We'll be on to the next one. So this is part one of gluing in the pockets, of pocketing, adding the pockets. So, you know, just to flip through, we've got the front cover right here and it's got that postcard in it for right now and like I said we got a lot of other things we know we still have an empty pocket journaling page journaling page image journaling spot journaling spot pocket got some more to add in there again journaling on there we've got some stuff we're making in here a cute little flip journaling spot journaling spot flip journaling spot because we want to make sure we keep enough journaling spots so this has got the postcard it's got our little collage it's going to have our envelope which we're going to mod podge on tomorrow those will be fun journaling spot again our pocket we are going to make some other stuff that's going to go in there we've got our little pocket just so cute with our little atc card in there journaling spot again you can journal up here we've got some stuff we're going to make for the pocket journaling spot Again, another pocket. I have a little pull out flip card that you can journal in. And a journaling spot up here, and we may add some other things in there. Again, another flip. We've got our little card up here, our card, our postcard, our little trifold in there, a little journaling spot, another little pocket. In our back pocket, we've got, so we've got. Some pockets to fill some things to do so we will do that tomorrow um we'll be back we'll do the pockets and everything for the other two and then we will i'll try to do through both i'll try to go through both of them and add the pockets tomorrow in the video and then we will start making ephemera and adding in there and you know that'll sort of depend we'll probably do several pieces of ephemera a day you know put them in all, for all three so you know if we do you know a flip journaling card in here then we'll make a flip journaling card for the other two so we'll do 
three things at once. We'll make all three of them at once because all the pockets will be done. So we'll make them. And then as we get them, we can just put them in, put them in, put them in. So by the time we do the video tomorrow, we're doing the pockets for the other two. And then we start the ephemera. When we finish the ephemera, all the ephemera will already be placed in their signatures. And it'll be ready to go. Then we literally have to make our cover, bind it, and then decorate our cover. So we are getting really close to the end already, girls and guys, if you're out there. So, yeah. And, I mean, it's starting to look really good. So I will let you go for today. Thank you for tuning in. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Um, and we will see you next time. Have a great day.